Welcome to your News Now Sports. I'm Dave Sasaski. A few schools in Division IV basketball have been as successful for their boys and girls teams as the crest few nights. Both squads are undefeated starting to the 2023 season, and both attribute their success to the tightly knit community. Our Dylan Tyson reports from Convoy. When you graduate four seniors from your state runner-up team, critics might say the time for a championship has run out. But for the Crestview Knights, the reality is anything but. The Knights are off to a 4-0 start to the 2023 season, led in scoring by their only returning starter, junior Ren Sheets. It was tough losing that many starters, but uh, we had a lot of experience from these guys that are starting now. So last year they helped our starters get ready, and I just knew they, they were going to be fine when they came in. One of the Knights who stepped into a leadership role is senior Jarrett Harding, whose role last year as the sixth man provided him valuable experience. There's been a lot of talk of, you know, we lost all the seniors and everyone was kind of doubting us uh, in the off season. But uh, uh, I'd say we're probably like one of those athletic teams I, I've been on. But basketball smart. I think we need to get that up a little bit. And uh, just sharing the ball a little bit more. I mean, if they can't stop five people at once, then can't really stop us at all. Sheets agrees improving the dialogue will be the key to running it back. We just got to get better at talking and communicating. And, you know, our offense could be a little better. Uh, I think our defense is pretty solid. We're holding teams to, like, good, good enough score, but we got to get our offense going and hit some shots for, to help our defense out. Crestview's storied success on the hardwood isn't limited to just the boys' team. The Lady Knights have also started their season unbeaten through six games. That's the second time they've done so in three years, and they're just three years removed from their last state tournament appearance. Eight-year head coach Mark Gregory was a part of both campaigns and has led the team to three straight 20-win seasons. We knocked on the door the uh, last two years and lost to the eventual state runner-up. So uh, pretty special, hard to swallow a little bit, but at the same time, they just play so hard. They play together, and, and it's always team above self, and uh, that's what makes things so special at Crestview Basketball. But selflessness isn't the only name of the game. The Gregory family name has left its imprint on the program, from the staff all the way down to four fabled Lady Knights, including senior Callie Gregory, coach's daughter. Been in here since I was little, looking up to all those other girls and looking up to my sisters. I get to go home, and they get to tell me what we need to work on or whatever. Just that relationship is really cool. The family's a big deal to me, and, and uh, I've been blessed to be able to coach all four of my daughters. My wife is, is my, my bookkeeper, and uh, my two oldest daughters, they help me with stats. They, they'll come in to practice every once in a while and, and lace it up in both the girls, and, and that makes it a lot of fun. If you ask anyone from either of the illustrious Crestview squads, they'll tell you priority number one is the next game. But that doesn't mean a return to the state tournament, with unfinished business at that, isn't on their mind. I've gotten to state a lot in my high school career, so we just haven't got over that hump, so it'd be nice to finally do that. Now, obviously, we expect that we're going to go far, but we're just looking towards the next game, make sure we control what we can control, you know. In Convoy, Dylan Tyson, your News Now Sports.